Here's how to create presentations using beautiful.ai. After you log in, this will be your home page. From here, if you have the premium plan, you'll have a bunch of templates to choose from. I don't, therefore I have to create one myself. You're gonna have to click here and it will give us a few built-in themes to choose from. We can either choose from this, import from PowerPoint presentation, or we can make our own new theme. Keep in mind that these themes are for blank presentations only. You, you, there are some starter templates available for you to use, or you can even import a, a template or slides from PowerPoint presentation. Here are all the templates. You can edit them, you can customize them, change the text, change the pictures. These are just the basics. All these templates are free to use, so feel free to choose any one of them and start customizing it. For example, I want to make a business template. I'll go to business category and choose one from over here. Let's go to real estate presentation template. Here is our template looks like. Now let's take a look at our slides. Here, as you can see, a bunch of pictures have been used. You can change them and add your very own pictures. Or if you don't like them, you can simply remove the slides and basically customize the whole thing. Here, I can change the size of the picture. I can remove it uh, and there are some layouts I can if you really like the picture you can set it as the background you can take it to the bottom to the left to the right to the top there are a few layouts to choose from and here are the text options I can select where my text uh, should be and I can also select the font from here and over here you can uh, choose whether you want the picture to be visible or not and to if you don't like the picture here are a few pictures uh, category available and each one of them have a wide range of pictures for you to choose from as you can see all these pictures are in the business category and you can feel free to use them because uh, they won't have any copyright issue so for my presentation, I'll go with this one, for instance. And as you can see, it has been uploaded to my presentation without me having to do anything. And here will be logos. So if you want to add any logo to your presentation, here will be your logos. For example, I want an Apple logo. I'll search for Apple and it will give me a few logos to choose from i'll go with this one and and as you can see the logo has been updated on my presentation if you want to remove it you can simply uh, click on turn off uh, switch it to off and the logo will be gone from here you can choose the colors of your presentation you can uh, switch the team to another team team or you can actually as i said earlier you can make your very own team uh, of your own colors and after you've chosen the theme, you can actually still change the color of the background. We don't have any background, solid background here, so therefore it won't work in this one. So let's go to the next slide and see how it works from over there. As you can see, the background has been changed and depending on your background color, the color of the fonts will be changed as well. And from here, you can uh, select the layout of the, your presentation slide. As you can see, a bunch of layouts are available for you to choose from. And from here, you can add variations to your slides. Uh, so for example, if there's some another template, you can change uh, this slide 
to that template slide. And from here, you can add elements. Uh, so here, pictures, pic numbered uh, text or picture with a text. I'll go with a simple text here and and let's see how it looks. I'll type in hello, for example, and I can position it anywhere in the slide. And I can change the size as well. From here, I can make it bigger or smaller, or I can actually change it if I want to. So for example, I want a rectangle, I can change it to rect rectangle. All right, from here you can uh, make uh, anything static look moving. So for example, if you want this location uh, rectangle to be moving, you have to use the animation option and it will start moving. Next up is record. I can actually record my voice uh, while explaining uh, the presentation and I can actually add a video of myself explaining the presentation as well. Next up we have next slide so uh, now here from here you can choose whether the slides should be timed or by clip. If, there, if you choose a timer you can actually change the timer as well so we can go with one second and if you want it to, if you want the next slide to play on click then uh, select the on click option now over here you can add comments from here and from here uh, this is the information about the owner of the presentation which in this case is me and from here you can actually invite people such as your classmates or your colleagues to make this slide uh, presentation with you. Now let's go to another slide. Uh, uh, so for example, I'll go with um, this one and it's my slide. From here, if I don't want this picture to be here but to be on top, then I can simply move them and the other pictures will move according to the adjustment I made. They will adjust according to the moving I, that I do and it looks pretty good actually. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention was that from here you can actually add slide notes. From here you can write anything and they will be considered your notes. And that's pretty much it. To save this presentation, you're going to have to click here and you can uh, either print the presentation or export the presentation. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was useful for you. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.